Hello everyone, today I'm here for CC Design and I got this cute card to put together. Super cute. Uh, there is the new Sweet Swissy stamp set. I used her on the top and the sentiment. And we'll be doing a video for next week with that one. I just love them. So I also used some dies from Jada Blossom. I used that one and also this one to frame it up. We'll put um, all the information on my blog and you can go look at it there. So if you cut all the pieces, this is how it will look. And if you wanna use the frame as I'm gonna do, see how it's a little bit bigger? So you take the middle part and you kind of put them a little closer together and it will work that way, just like so. Super easy to do. And I cut my um, card base at four and five and one fourth, and it works perfect. So I put one of those pieces inside because it, if you take a six by six paper, it will cut you all those pieces that's on that die. It's, a, it's pretty fun. So instead of wasting it, I used it inside. So now I'm gonna put one of my first layer down and I already stamped my sentiment. Life is sweeter with you. Just like so. And now I'm gonna put my other layer bottom and just line it up to the card base and that size is perfect for the frame as you will see so you can see how much I'm losing of the other paper but I'm fine with that I I love this look and just add it and I'm gonna put it higher so I'm just gonna go on the edge of the blue and cover more of the orange that's the look I wanted you can do whatever way you want. So here is my little girl. She's gonna be perfect on there. So I have already put my two-sided tape on here. So I always go with the slim one because it works perfect on here. And I'm just gonna lay it down to the card base. You just get one end and then the rest is gonna line up perfect. Perfect, perfect. And so now just have her all popped up and ready to go with some dimension you want her to pop and all those colors she sure does I find I just love those colors and now I'm just gonna put some enamel dots and I'm playing with them fussing a bit with them just to make sure and I'm gonna put some on the top here to add a little bit something else so here we go we're gonna color her up so I start with the hair with the E 33 and I'm just gonna put the just the beginning of the hair just on the edges here continue there yeah so I'm gonna do the other stamp that goes with this one for next week because I have a post day also next Wednesday so stay tuned for that you already seen how she looks she's super cute too I just don't know yet with the card base what it's gonna look like because I didn't I don't go that far I just I just do what I need when I need it I'm always so behind on other things. Just life gets in the way sometimes of your crafting. It does. So here I got the E00, E13, and E11 for this skin. And I'm starting with the little neck, the hands, and the little chunky legs on her. She's so cute. So I'm just with the 11 and I'm gonna finish it off with the zero zero. 
and as always I always go touch up with my 11 also just to help it blend go and now I've got the darkest shade for my hair the E37 and I'm just gonna do some flicking here just to get going with a darker shade and do the tip of her hair and yeah I'm almost done with the darker shade here. Make it sure. There you go. So I'm going to start with the face now. So with the E00, I'm just going to put a, a base, the 13. Frame it up a bit. Right there. Now I've got the 11 and I'm going to pull those colors in a bit. I watched a video a couple days ago and I think I'm going to try something else for next time for the skin. I'm hoping to try it. If it's back to this color, it's because it didn't work for me. So, cross my fingers it does work so we can have something different. So now I'm just blending all those colors together and just finishing off the face and touching the 11 again just to help it blend. There you go. So now I've got the E35 and I'm pulling all those colors again trying to blend those if you didn't see my video um, on Monday hope you all had a nice Easter weekend with your family as I said I had a very quiet one Always nice to have a long weekend. There, now I'm going in and doing some orange. So YR14 is my lightest shade. And I'm going the YR18 for the darkest. I'm just doing the bow right now. And then she has her shirt that's going to be that color also. So I got the 16 now, the YR16, and pulling the darker shade in more with it. I'm blending those together. And as always, I will be bringing some of my pencils at the end. And just blend all those with the lighter shade to finish it off. And I love orange. I don't bring it in that much with my coloring, but I do love orange. So now I'm just gonna finish off my hair with the E33 again, as we started with that color. And we're gonna finish it off with that color. Touching it up and all done. There. So now I got my shoes and I got the BG53. You see that I have my um, candy all colored up the same color. As you will see, I will redo it on a different piece of paper because I go and I touch it up and I touch it up and I really don't like it. So I will show you how I do it on the next one. You'll see it in a bit. 
So RV34. So here I go. I'm going to do the candy here. And I'm going to cut it and just glue it on top of the other one that I didn't like. So if you do a mistake, don't throw it out. If you can cover it this way, especially when it's a candy or even a bowl, you can even pop it up. So yeah, don't throw it out. Sometimes it's it's worth, you know, repairing it instead of just throw, throw it into to the trash. So I'm just blending that. So now I'm, I'm bringing in some pencil to do some shading and here's the number of it. 105. And I'm going to put a little bit on my candy here. And bring some Gamsol and my nib to blend it. As I always say, everybody makes mistakes. And when it's on a video, then people see it. But it's all good. I always say it's all good to share that you do mistake also. Because at first I used to make mistakes and I thought, what's wrong with me? And I would throw it out, you know. So here I'm just gluing it right on top, you know. On a picture, you won't even see I did that. So there. I got the RV34 again. And here I'm doing the socks. And like I said, the shirt will be that color too. Bring that nice orange in. And now I got the YR18. And I got the 16 coming and the 14. I find that's a nice blend. The 18 is really dark, so that's why I'm touching the nib here and helping it to blend more. And I got the 14 just to finish it off. There. Looks beautiful. I didn't have enough orange on my bow so I'm just adding a little bit more just to darken it up a little bit just like so and I'm gonna start with the RV32 and the darkest shade is the 34 and this is where I did not put pencil and I seen it after you know when you take a picture and then it's like oh I didn't do pitch, uh, some pencil work with the pink on this one. It's okay. It's all good. So here I'm going to put some little cheeky cheeks and blend them in. So she has nice rosy cheeks. And I was struggling on that side. I had to do it a few times. little spot there. Now I'm going to go in with my brown and trace it all around. Just do some shading. And here's the number. And I did show the pink but I took it out because you can't see the number. So my older pencils it just won't pick up. It's just the way it is. Um, the gold you can see it but the silver on the camera you can't see it so and I blend I 
I put all my pencils together, my old ones, my new ones, all in one case. So, yeah, I don't look before I do my video. Oh, I got new ones or old ones. Yeah, so now I'm just blending that brown in for the shading. I need to touch up once in a while with the brown. I'm just blending that. I love the size of these. They are so nice to color. Yes. Super sweet. And now I'm going in with a darker brown for the shading on the hair. I didn't struggle as much as last time. Last video I struggled because my marker was dying on me. It was it was so dry and then I had two the same thing. You know, usually one will be like that, not both. Yeah. I, I didn't refill it. I didn't touch it since, so I'm hoping that I can fix them. Because I did go to Michael's. They didn't have it in stock. Yes. Not fun. So now I'm doing shading on all the orange pieces. So on the bow, on the shirt, and a little bit on the socks. Yeah. And I fix my eyes. And I blend in all the orange. done here I'm gonna put a little bit of um, it's not Wink and Stella it's the Nuvo one and I'm just putting some sparkles on there to make it shine so here she is all done up super cute and there's my card and I'll bring in the stamp set again just to show you Here it is. And like I said, I'll do a video with her next time. So, hope you like my card for today. And I will see you all soon. Bye.